Aaron and Maya and I are making some cookies here, and we got some of our main ingredients. Aaron, what do we have here? White sugar, brown sugar, and flour. All right. And Maya, how much of each one do we have to put in? One cup of white sugar, two cups of brown sugar, and three cups of flour. Exactly. So let's start adding stuff. Aaron, do you want to put the white sugar in? Nice. And you want to put a, oh, you're already on top of it. Perfect. And you want to do one more? Perfect. And then we need some flour. Here, you want to do some flour? Good stuff. One. Two, am I you want to do one? Great. Now we just have to put all the other stuff and eat them. <laughs> Alright, when we were making cookies in the kitchen, we were looking at the ingredients in the recipe, and the recipe called for one cup of sugar, two cups brown sugar, and three cups of flour. And so, you can compare all these things with, with a ratio again. We could compare, just within the sugar here, we could compare how, how those two quantities compare to each other. You could say that the ratio of, of uh, white sugar to brown sugar is one to two. Okay, cups to cups. Since you're comparing things with the same units, cups, cups, it's called a ratio. That's what a ratio is, comparing comparing things that have the same units. You could actually compare, um, you can compare, say, the amount of brown sugar Sorry, pointing at the wrong thing there. You can compare the amount of brown sugar to the total number of cups. Total cups, I'll just put. Okay, total number of cups there. We got six. And this is two. Two to six. This ratio up here, this first one, this is called a part to part ratio part to let's make it so I got enough space here this is a part to part ratio and let's make it big enough part to part ratio whereas this one down here is called a part to whole ratio not a hole in the ground, a hole like the entire thing. When we're looking up here, we're, this is comparing this is comparing this part right here. Let's highlight it the same. It's comparing that part right there to this part right here. Part of the group to part of the group. That's why it's called a part to part ratio. Whereas down when we write this ratio down here, this is how much brown sugar we have compared to the whole thing here okay total cups this is the whole thing All right you're comparing how much lovely coloring skills eh you're comparing how much brown sugar there is out of the whole thing okay this is why it's called a part to whole ratio you're comparing the part that's brown sugar to the whole entire collection of cups when we're done. Whereas up here you're comparing one part to another part. Okay, it's important to know the difference between those terms. Now, a couple other terms I will tell you about. The two ratios that we wrote here, why don't we do this? Let's get this out of here. Actually, let's leave that one because it doesn't matter which one we have. Um, these two ratios that we have written here so far each 
this compares two things, that thing to that thing. These are these are two term ratios. And let's keep our keep it in red as we were doing there. Two term ratios. Okay, because you're comparing there's two terms in them. You could write here if I uh, if I get rid of this whole thing for a little bit, give ourselves some space again, but still see the cups. We will shrink this down in case we need it later. It's gone. Uh, if we compare now if you can you can compare all three of these things, right? You could write something for white sugar to brown sugar to flour. Okay, we got a one to two to three. One to two to three ratio. This is a three term ratio. Okay. Three term ratio. Right, because there's three terms and you're comparing three things. A ratio is a comparison of things that have the same units. All of these things are cups, right? We're measuring it all in cups. So they're all the same units. Right? Important to know all those all those different terms. Let's move this and get our other stuff back so we can see it. We got three term ratio and what other things do we have here? Let's get this back again here. Okay, four terms to know. Or four new four words to know that if you didn't know before. Part to part ratio, part to whole ratio, two term ratios, and three term ratios. Okay.